Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was released in the year of 2011. The fragrance we're going to touch upon today is called Amber Oud from the house of By Killian. Now this fragrance is one that I have been meaning to review for a while. It's one that I have enjoyed for quite a while, but for some reason I just never got around to it. Now, as many of you know, I love the presentation for the Killian bottles. I believe they are top notch and I believe that they are actually the best in the game. However, I'm going to get onto the actual sizes. It's really available in one main size, a 50 milliliter, and there are two options for that 50 milliliter. You can either get the full presentation, that's going to run you $395. And if you get the just the refill of Amber Oud, a 50 milliliter, that will run you $195. So there is a $200 difference for a good presentation. Um, and that has always been something that has stuck out my mind with uh, Killian, um, which we'll you know, go into a little bit more as we go on. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the actual review. Now, the scent, immediately when you spray it, uh, there are really no surprises with this one, except for one major one, actually. Uh, the first thing that you get is this amber smell, and you really get a vanilla. It's amber and vanilla that really come at you, as well as benzoin. Now, benzoin to me, benzoin and vanilla are very similar in terms of how they smell across. Benzoin to me comes across as a sharper version of vanilla, and when you put the two together, uh, it really uh, becomes pronounced. And so that benzoin, that vanilla, and that amber really are what make up the fragrance. Now the fragrance has a light bed of woods in it, um, and that's pretty much it, which is really surprising because this fragrance is marketed as amber oud. Amber oud, you would think that this fragrance would have a heavy, a heavy uh, oud presence within the fragrance. However, it does not, which is surprising. Um, that oud really does not make its appearance until well into the dry down and that you can argue is more of a woodsy smell. It's not that uh, trademarky, rotten, uh, I won't say rotten, but um, that trademarky, heavy smelling oud type of a smell that you would normally get. So definitely, uh, definitely a one. I was just actually smelling uh, to remind myself of it just because I put on another spray just to remind myself of what it was actually smelling like. But either way, it's really amber, benzoin, and vanilla that you're getting throughout the entire fragrance. And it really is a nice sensual fragrance in that respect. I go usually about one to three or four sprays. Four sprays is a little bit on the heavy side, uh, but this fragrance is meant for the winter. It's a great winter scent, one that you can wear in the cold weather and you're gonna be really fine with it. It's a good fragrance to wear going out to bars. It's a good fragrance to wear uh, going out on a night on the town and possibly a date um, if it's you know if that so chooses your fancy it really is a nice sensual fragrance that garners compliments on top of things as well too so it's something that you know is very pleasant in that regards now one re one area that it doesn't you know really jump out at it does decently in is the performance I get about four to seven hours with this fragrance um, and once it gets to that dry down particular area it becomes a fragrance that it's like okay well you know this is a nice fragrance this is a really nice fragrance, but it's not really wowing me in any shape, way, or form. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, um, if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating a three and a half out of five stars. Now, there's a couple of things that, you know, really put into my mind with this particular fragrance. Now, it's one, this is a very sensual fragrance. That's a, it's a very great smelling fragrance uh, that people really do enjoy, and it is a compliment getter. The other thing on top of these things are, sorry about that, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there's a cop car outside, uh, which has just passed, finally. All right, anyways, so one, it's a very sensual fragrance that is very pleasant on that respect. Two, uh, Scent is great, performance is decent, it's average. The parts where it loses its mark for um, is not the originality, but it's more the, um, uh, not originality, it's the price. Uh, so when we're talking about the value, the value and the price point of this fragrance is really where it's losing its marks. $395, $395 for it, and even if you were to go down to the $195 mark, it still is a very expensive fragrance for what you're getting. I think if they had this fragrance priced off at around, you know, mid 150s, low 100s, uh, basically, I think I would 
easily pump this up in terms of value, but it's not. It's $395 for the true presentation, uh, which to me is absolutely insane. Um, I, do, I did participate in a uh, split for this particular fragrance a while ago, but you know, outside of that, I was not interested in buying the full bottle. I got my full bottle of Killian that I wanted, and I took, the, took it and ran, pretty much. So three and a half out of five stars is really what I'm giving this fragrance. If you are looking for uh, a somewhat original smelling uh, fragrance that is good for the night out, that is good for colder weather, go ahead and take a look at this one. But if you're not, this one might be one something that you want to pass on. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are on Killian's Amber Oud, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.